Assalamualaikum everyone, it's me Noor Khan and welcome back to my life. So, आज के माई वीडियो बहुत मजे करने वाली है इट इज नेवर बीन ऑन माई चैनल समथिंग लाइक दिस मतलब मैंने कभी किसी की मेकअप रूटीन फॉलो नहीं की स्पेशली नॉट बार्बरा पैलविन सुपर मॉडल्स तो इट्स कैन बी रियल डिफरेंट आई वॉज गोइंग टू वर्ग वीडियोज a uh, few days ago i was actually watching selena gomez is and i really wanted to do her look but um, unfortunately i do not have the budget to broke to buy rare beauty products even though i'm loving them the reviews on them are crazy but uh, so i wanted to do selena gomez but i could not do her but then uh, i came across barbara palavin's routine and i was really like oh wow she's so gorgeous so stunning so beautiful i was i was struck for a minute i went even when and like मे बी अगर मैं इसकी रूटीन ट्राई करूँ तो हो सकता है मेरे चेहरे में भी कोई निखार आ जाए सो आई डिसाइड टू डू इट और लाइक इज कन वर्क आउट दिस दैट्स बारबरा पैलविन एंड दिस इज नूर खान बारबरा पैलविन शेफ डिन स्पाउस आई डोंट इवन हैव आई डोंट इवन हैव ओके बैक टू द वीडियो So today we'll be following Barbara Palvin's supermodel routine, her everyday beauty routine, um, and let's hope it turns out good enough. Disclaimer: We obviously cannot do the same thing. We have different faces, different physiques, different structures. But I'll try my best to follow everything that she does and says. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So for the first thing that she's doing is she's doing her face. facial suffice i have already uh, you know washed my face and stuff like that so i'm not going to follow that part we're going to step on to the makeup part and uh, she's doing hair skin care everything okay the best part was that in her video she was so cute she was talking about this baby talk that she does with Dylan and i was like oh couple goals i really like their couple and then she puts on some eye patches and she rubs ice on them i can put on eye patches and their cold eye patches so i won't need to rub ice on them so i'll just go and grab my eye patches first so i'm back with my eye patches uh, these are bio aquas eye patches they're really good these are their um, refreshing and soothing eye masks these are honestly really good They are full circles, and I usually like to cut them down and do. But what I'm gonna do right now is because I'm I don't have time, so I'm gonna roll them up, fold them up, and I'm just gonna apply one to each under each eye. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Take out the mask now. We are done with about I guess. Five to ten minutes, I guess. We are fine. What Barbara does in her video is that she rubs the eyes over it, and then she leaves it for like five minutes, and then she's done. That's cool as well. And she's gonna rub these in the eye area. She says sometimes she likes to wash it off, but the other times she prefers to, you know, have a mask on her face. We're gonna do that as well. We're gonna just keep the mask on her face. You can rub this one all over your face as well. Uh, this is not uh, limited to you know just your eyes. That's why right. I don't like the feeling of having a mask on my face, but I'm gonna have it anyways. Okay, next step is uh, that she uses an essence. Now I don't have anything close to an essence, so I'm just gonna use my moisturizer. That's gonna um, compensate for both the essence and the lotion that she's gonna use. Way different from how I put my oil in, so that's new. She rubs it on her hands like this, okay, and then she's gonna do this. This is something new I've seen, and I'm hoping this is better than how I rub my oil in. <laughs> Okay, so we're done with the oil. What is the next step, Barbara? Let us know, please. Hmm. So the first step is her foundation. Yay! I have my foundation over here. Luckily, 
I'm gonna use the Mac Studio Face and Body Foundation. Barbara is using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Skin Foundation. I wish I had that one. So she takes the foundation and she uh, blends it out with a sponge. I'm gonna take the foundation on the back of my hand as well. Mix it with another one which is to match my shade. And uh, let's do this. The so next step is a little concealer, as she says. Um, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty one, the Overachiever concealer. She's again using a Giorgio Armani concealer. I mean, she's Barbara Belvin, she's Jill's spouse. I am. I want to tell you guys who I am. I obviously cannot afford Giorgio Armani with life. Nice and I completely forgot that. Yeah, I'm doing it right. She applies really little, little, really, literally tiny dots all under her eyes. Really little. If I'm also using a very full coverage one, like her, so she also likes to put it around her lips, apparently. Okay, so no sponge for the concealer. We're gonna use the fingers. Apparently, according to Barbara, oh, I agree, but I only use my fingers for my color correctors. Not an on foundation concealer. Well, according to her, uske mutabik, unke mutabik, um, this gives it a way more natural light look and makes it feel lighter as well. I don't know how many years this will take to blend, but I hope this works out. <laughs> I'm gonna lie, it does look really pretty. It only, honestly does look really pretty. I'm, I'm actually a little bit taken back. So yeah, nice job, Barbara. You're making this look pretty. Okay, so then she's using. She puts the leftover concealer over her eyes. I did that as well. So next day, she's gonna do some eyes. She's again using the Giorgio Armani palette that is all. Warm tone shades. I'm gonna grab myself a palette as well that has uh, all the warm tone shades, and then I'll be right back. So um, the one Barbara is using has all nude and warm tone shades. This is the palette that I'll be using. I recently got it. This is La Ferra Cosmetics Eyeshadow Collection Nudes 2. You guys uh, can use the Urban Decay one as well. This is quite a dupe of that one. Okay. So the first thing Barbara is doing, which is quite a technique, she's taking an angled brush. You guys can take any brush, uh, uh, take an angled brush, okay? I'm gonna take this one. This one is equally fluffy as hers. She's using a fl very fluffy brush. Hers is a little smaller. Can you see how this is angled? But she's doing, she's going in with the dark shade, any dark shade. Okay, and now what she's doing is that she's on her eyes on her eyes. Hold it now. Yes, Let me see how I put that in. Now she's gonna. It looks kind of pretty, not gonna lie. See, my eyes look instantly flushed and perched uh, up. Oh, 
Okay, so we're done with the eyes, the outer corner of the eyes, both the eyes. Now let's step on and see what Barbara has next in stock for us. So she guess she's now going to take the lighter shade. And Sorry. She's taking slightly lighter. She's going to now. Take this and somehow she's says that she's clearing up this shape. Okay, so what she's going to do next, or what she is doing next, is she's taking a slightly more stiffer brush. Uh, you can take any angled brush you want. I'm going to go for this one. This is what I'm going for. She goes into the really dark brown shade. This one. And she's going really close to eyelash. Because eyelash ke bilkul pas hai, glue lagate honge na eyelash ke liner. So uske dona aise karke. Brown shade ko pack kar diye. Nazar aa raha hai Oh, main bhi kya camera se pooch rahi hoon. I hope you guys can see it. And she's blending it upwards. Mujhe lag raha hai brown shade jo hai na it's not dark enough to what she's using. Let me grab another one. Okay, the palette that I'm gonna use now is the Miss Rose wali. I don't know what palette ka ye O3 hai ye Miss Rose ki. ठीक है ये इसके अंदर भी वो सारे शेड्स हैं जो बारबरा यूज कर रही है सो यू गैस कैन यूज इट एस वेल शी इज राइट दो इट डज मेक माय आई लाइक इट लुक वोलेमनस Wow, my eyes look pretty. You guys think so? Hmm. Okay. The next step is going to be what? Let Barbara unveil the next step. It's going to be such a long video. Okay. So what she's doing now? She's taking lighter shade. You can take any light shade you want. I'm gonna take this one, this one, upper one, jupper, and she's applying it in her inner corner. She's doing it with the same brush she used in the first place. I'm gonna do that as well. Where did I put the brush? Ah, oh, you know. Show my stuff. Show my things too. I should have gotten these things out in the first place. That is how she does it. She's done with the entire little palette that she's using. Okay. Hmm. Okay. She was taking the color that she applied earlier, the lighter shade, to blend out her outer lid, and she's applying it in her under eye. I don't know, I just don't like this part a little bit. It's a little shimmery for me. Okay, model, next step. She's curling her lashes. Okay. 
Okay, so we're done with lashes. Lashes. I see we're done with lashes. Uh, let's see what is next. She has really pretty lashes, by the way. And so what she's doing is if she's blinking in them. The high school way to do lashes. So we're going to do it with well. I'm gonna check it if she's doing her lower lashes as well, okay? See, I told you. She said when I do red carpets, I don't like to put mascara on my bottom lash lashes but because she doesn't have a lot of makeup today. She's going to put it. Let's see. Eyes now. Guys, this is my baby niece. So they like raw. It is it is slow. Hey, love. Nice. We have camera when you are up there. Ah, no. Ah, no. Ah, no. It's not here. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. Do na. Oi. Light. Everyone, you're allowed to say Marshala. You you have to say Marshala. Like, if you say Marshala, you'll have to say Marshala. But this is my little baby. So, yeah. Barbara Palvin's video. Bye, bye. 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 Bye, bye.
she's doing the eyebrows now. Where things where she's brushing them up. Okay, so I have my spoolie and just... Ta-da! So these are my brows brushed up. So she's not doing bangs. So she's putting in a little lip balm next time. I'm guessing we're nearing the end of the video. Okay, so the first thing she's doing is she's doing a lip balm. I'm using a lip oil. And she's been cleaning it off. I'm gonna do it as well. Clean it off in a way that it's a little bit Then what she's doing next is she's adding lip in it. And that is the part I'm s no, what the hell, do I really have to, um, I don't like to do lip liners. I, uh, I hardly ever do lip liners on my lips because I already have quite plumpy lips and I don't like that at all. But if Barbara is doing it, then Barbara will do it, so you will do it, you will do it, you will do it. So, um, I have two of them over here and she's using quite a dark lip liner. I'm gonna try this one first. I think this Okay, so the next step she's doing is, I don't know why, uh, my lip liner looks so much more than her own. I'm gonna dab it off a little bit, then what she does is she's taking a finger and she's blending the lip liner over her lips and then she's taking the left, left over and she's applying that on her cheeks as a blush. Let me uh, quickly dab off a little lipstick of my lips because I feel like I've put a, too, a little too much. And then I'll be right back and we'll step on to the last, probably the last step. Okay, so we're done with this part. Let's see what she does next is... Okay, so for the next thing she's doing is she's going to take a little bit of the highlighter and apply it to her Cupid's bow. Like right here. She takes a little bit on her finger. That looks pretty. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay. And then, what is the last step? Barbara, tell us what is the last step. Okay, so she's taking a powder and she's doing it all over her face. Let me grab a powder now. So what Barbara is doing, she's taking a powder that has a little shimmer in it. Uh, she's using, I'm not sure, I guess she's using the Charlotte Tilbury one. Um, I'm going to use this Color Institute ka and this is very good. This powder is very good and it's going to be a little bit of a little bit of a sheen. It's matte, but it gives you a little drop of sheen. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it gives. See, I'm gonna apply this all over my face with a brush because that's how Barbara does. And you all, we're done with the look. It's quite simple, not gonna lie, but it is an everyday look, so I'm not gonna say anything about it it looks quite pretty though I'm not gonna lie um i love the eye makeup i absolutely do uh let me quickly go and set my hijab the same way barbara goes and sets her shirt and then i'll be right back so guys we're done with the look how pretty do i look i was just looking at myself in the mirror over there i'm not gonna lie it looks super pretty and i feel super pretty in it as well uh, Barbara Pelvin definitely has a touch to her and makeup might be one of the reasons why she's so confident about it. So yes, I absolutely love the eye makeup. I would change a little bit, a 
little bit stuff in it like blending my contour with my fingers but i'm not gonna lie even that gave me a sort of an idea of how much uh, how i can do makeup way more naturally with less stuff so yeah um, i hope you guys enjoyed the video i definitely did a huge thanks to Vogue for featuring artists like barbara and so many others who are sharing the daily dreams with us, giving us more to look forward to and learn from and I'm honestly so glad to see these girls. I love Barbara Balvin as a model and I'm really really happy for her. So yeah, you both love money okay? But this is me. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you like Barbara and if you did then make sure you check out her video as well. She did an amazing job and she looks way more pretty than me. So yeah. Um all the love in the world, stay safe. Do it.